Oh my god, we took a, uh, yeah, we took a butt whooping. What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so, we're here. I think the place, the name, the name of the place is Snowbell? I could be wrong. Who knows? Probably. Let me take a look. Because your boy plays week by week, and he doesn't remember well. So, <coughs> let's go right ahead and take a look at the town map. And yes, I was correct. Holy crud. For the first time, I am correct. It is Snowbell City, and we are here for our next badge. This place has a lot to offer, guys. But unfortunately, a badge right now, that that's not it. Look at this. What's new, little blue? If it ain't the future champ. Hate to disappoint, but the gym leader's actually out right now. He said he was off to, to the winding woods if you feel like searching. Ah, the winding woods. Yeah, it, the woods wind in that whole area and uh, holy buckets. It, 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 yeah, it's going to be a fun one right there. So before we do anything, let's go ahead and take a tour of this whole place right here and then go into the winding woods. We're going to transition into it, guys, because, uh, well, <coughs> your boy right here needs the map. The winding woods has different areas, different er you know spots. If you go through it, it's kind of like uh, the Lost Cave or something like that over at... Uh, in Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green. So, let's see. No, I don't want that. And let's go ahead and talk to this person. When Pokemon get uh, get frozen, they can't do anything. But it's hard to freeze a Pokemon. It really is. And uh, we're known for using Synchronize. This is true. And the same personality and all that stuff for twins and all that crud. And let's trade my B-Sharp for a Jigglypuff. Do I have a Jigglypuff at some point? Let's see. Jigglypuff. Do I have a Jigglypuff? No, I don't have a Jigglypuff. Holy crud. That's right. I, I haven't been capturing Pokemon because, well, you know, I got some stuff to do, guys. I am very, very busy, but eventually I'm going to trade, okay? So, let's get the heck out of here and move on into the next section of this whole area right here, which I will show you. Let's see. Talk to this guy. Hi. Uh, hail, hail, Traveler. What size have you seen with your Pokemon? Everything. Just about everything. The Kanto region, Johto, Hoenn. Right here, you can buy yourself some new clothes. And then, well, let's see. What else? Is there anything else? Talk to this person. Thanks to the cold air that seeps out of the gym, no one in town needs air conditioning. Okay, so unlimited air conditioning. If you guys ask me, am I a winter or summer person? I am definitely a winter person. It doesn't matter how big our numbers might get. People in Pokemon will be fine in this world. Oh. But then again... The summer is pretty cool for some uh, certain things right here. Now, if you go in here, talk to this person. My husband can teach the ultimate moves to certain Pokemon. The Blazing Fire-type Pokemon, Charizard, Typhlosion, Blaziken, Infernape, Imbor, and Delphox. The Restless Water-type, Blastoise for Alligator, Swamper, Empoleon, Samurai, and Greninja. And the Quiet Grass-type, Venusaur, Meganium, Sceptile, Torterra, Superior, and Chestnut. Yeah. Which... You know, I'm not going to really teach him the move right now because, well, I'm not really ready right now. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, talk to this guy. The best part of Pokemon battles is that there are so many options, so many tactics to try. Some people may try to end the Pokemon battle quickly with brute force offense, while others prefer to go to defensive and play of the long game. Yeah, you gotta, you guys got to have a mixture of everything right here. And uh, is there a house? There's two, three. <coughs> oh, Lord. You know what? It's probably the dust on this, because holy crud. All right, talk to this person. For generations, my family's duty has been to teach Pokemon moves that people call mythical. I can teach the moves to Keldeo and Meloda. Meloda or something like that. Yes. All right, I don't have it, but the thick fat ability weakens the, fire, the power of fire and ice type moves. I told you I don't have it. Well, that is Bodies of Dysmorphia for you right there. And you try this. We get ourselves the TM-08 Bulk Up. This right here bulks up the body and raises the attack and defensive stats, which is cool. And let's see, Lissandre, he's my old friend. He was trying to help people in need. Becoming convinced of people's stupidity and faces his own limitations led him to conclude that the world would not be saved, which led to his suffering. It's ironic. Ah, yeah, don't say. Yeah, don't say. The old friend and all that stuff. Hopefully we, we get a backstory. I don't know. And, well, we're going to be going here. 
And let's see, um, Pokemon don't freeze in harsh sunlight, which is true. So if you guys have sunny day, well, that will work out. Standing here reminds me of the cold region far away. Would you listen to the song I composed here? Yes. Oh, thank you. This is a song. Oh, this is the Sinnoh region. Yeah, uh, what was it? Snow Point? Yeah, it reminds me of Snow Point, if I'm wrong. All right. Comment down below, guys. You, you, again, you guys teach me more than I teach you. This is the reason why I do the walkthroughs and, 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 and interact with you guys. You and your Pokemon look like you've been through a lot tougher. You know, I've got uh, a kid who's right around the same age as you. She just set off uh, from Vanneville on a journey of, of her own recently. I bet she's looking all grown up right now. Huh. Vanneville. Huh. Could this be... Yeah, we'll figure it out eventually. Okay, so let's see. Talk to this guy. Can you uh, can your Pokemon use a map block? Probably. I don't know. Now that it doesn't matter where whether I go somewhere or not, because as long as I'm with my Pokemon, I can f have fun forever. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. So let's go straight to the Pokemon Center. We're gonna. Well, I'm gonna. Fast forward right here, guys, because I need to grab a little something something. That is the Pokemon Handbook. And we'll be on our way to the the woods or something like that. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, we're back, guys. And I was, like, looking over everything in my, in my room. And I finally found the good old handbook right here. So let's go right ahead and grab that item first because, you know, items, free items. Who doesn't love free items? If you don't like free items, well, that's on you. So here we are. We get ourselves a full restore. And now it is time for us to go to the Winding Woods. It is exactly what it means. It winds. Now in the handbook it says, The Winding Woods certainly lives up to its name. This confounding force has multiple paths, some of which seem to bend with the very laws of nature by leading you back to previous areas. Take it nice and slow through the shady route and do your best to keep your bearings as you search for the gym leader, Wolfric. Now, right here... I'm going to be going off the letters that I see. Now, as you guys can see right there, there's a rock with moss on there. Obviously, if you bring yourself a, uh, what was it called? A, an Eevee, level it up, bam, you will evolve it into, what was it? You will evolve it into a Leafeon and all that stuff. Now, I'm trying to look for A right here. Okay, where does A go? Hmm. Oh, it's in the backside. Okay, so let's try this. Let's go to A. This is A. This will lead us right here. You'll be able to find yourself a Cassid Berry. And there is an item towards uh, the very corner right here. And bam, you're going to find yourself a Paralysis Heal, which you guys already know. It's going to heal your Paralysis. And since your boy right here is a uh, Paralysis Magnet, yeah, he's definitely going to need it. Okay, so B is downstairs right here. Now, this is where it gets tricky because you got the letter D towards the left side and letter C on the bottom side. C will lead you into a big old room right here. And letter D, giggity, will lead you towards another area which will eventually lead you somewhere else. Well, if that makes any sense. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to letter D right here, giggity. And this one will lead us to to, to a double battle. So let's go right ahead. And uh, let's see, let's, let's see what kind of Pokemon we got right here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Star Fox and Evil Bacon. Alrighty. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So, here it is, guys. We are taking on the twins, Nana and Nina. And they're going to be coming out with Slurpuff and Aromatize. So, I think I got a weakness. I got a nasty weakness right here with both Pokemon. Okay. Evil Bacon, Star Fox. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's do it right... Oh, wow. I was about to do that. Let's do it right here. Aromatize, you're going down. Oblivion Wing, my favorite move. Time to finish these Pokemon. So here we go. Burn it. Burn it down, Seth Rollins. Here we go. And bam. Okay, so these Pokemon, they survived. Just a little bit. And... Oh, crap, Baskets. Okay, so I didn't know that that was going to hurt. Here comes Skill Swap. And this right here is going to is gonna take away our skills. So now we got Healer. Or Matisse got Blaze. Okay. And uh, let's go right ahead and Flamethrower Slurpuff. Let's go ahead and go Oblivion Wing. Aromatize. So, there you go. Aromatize defeated. 
I don't even know if I'm saying the name right, but still, I'm kicking butt, taking names and doing everything in between. Alrighty, alrighty, and there you go, Oblivion Wing from Evil Bacon. They should they should call this Bacon Bacon Wing or something like that. Alrighty, so there you go, guys. Another victory for us. We are feeling great. Look at that. And Blade grows to level 61. And Nana and Nina have been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Wait, wait, what's the next thing? Let's see. Let's see. Ah! Okay. So we are. So north is gonna be F and E is gonna be south. This will lead us to a Poke fan. So I'm gonna go for the Pokemon battle for right now. Get it taken over, and then after that, just uh be on my way and all that crud. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Nacho right here. It needs to redeem itself and stuff. So let's see. We're going to skate. How do you how do you skate in the grass? That's my question. And time to show off our Pokemon. Okay. Let's go. So here we go. Taking on Pokefan Roizen. And she will be coming out with a Snubble. That right there, it could be trouble because, of course, Snubble is a Fairy-type Pokemon now. And, uh, all right, we're probably going to have to tank one hit. So here we go. Swords Dance. Alrighty. There we go. And there is a critical hit right there. Not really. Then let's go with a Poison Jab. And this one will win us the match. Yes. Say goodbye to Snubble. Alright, so he's got one more Pokemon with him. And he's going to be coming out with a Gramble. I am not... You know what? I'm going to take my chances right here. I will. And we're going to go with a Poison Jab for the win. Here we go. And there we go. Gramble defeated. Yeah, buddy. Alright. Okay. So there you go. Another victory for us. Roizen defeated. And, well, that is the only person we're going to be finding in here. So, let's go up north again. And this one will lead us right back to this section. Of course, we're going to get attacked by Pokemon and all that crud. Um, yes, the different types of Pokemon you'll find right here. Gothrita, Noctowl. Be aware of that. Um, any Pokemon of... Uh, any Pokemon of uh, of choice right here. Shoot, what was the name of it? What, what's that tree Pokemon's name? Something Stump. A Stump. I don't even know. All right, let's go upstairs. Let's see what we can find. And here we are in the F section. Okay, so I am looking at this. Where are you? Where's F? Okay, so we're going to be finding a Pokemon trainer. And that is, I believe... Okay, the Hex Maniac's right here. So... Jeebus, criminy. If I go to G, this is going to take me into a dead end. But there will be this. You could find this. Uh, advanced tips. You can check the moves of any of your Pokemon right from inside the PC box. True. Now, there should be an item right here somewhere. Probably. I don't even know. Okay. We're not finding an item. So here we are back in G. And you know what? I should probably put on a... Uh, yeah, I should probably put on a repel because I don't want to get attacked by anybody, any other Pokemon. And yes, I do have quite a few max repels right here. So, let's go right ahead and not take on her with a fighting type Pokemon. Let's go straight for Jordan the Goat. All right. Come on, bring it on. Okay, so I'm not going to read that because apparently she's singing or something. So, here we are, guys, taking on... Fairy Tale Girl Wine, and she's gonna be coming out with a with a clef key right here. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and use Jordan the Goat, and let's see. I don't even. Let's go ahead and try Earthquake, and okay, so Magic Room has been put, and yes, our our held items will not be able to be working or something like that. But Earthquake does work, and it does take out clef key. Yes. Okay, so I actually thought it wasn't going to work because it was levitating and all that crud, so... Shame on me. So here comes Azumarill. And this Pokemon is looking pretty tanky, but luckily for us, we got Jordan the Goat. So, here we go. Leaf Blade. Yeah. Azumarill has been defeated. Okay, alright, alright. 
and more experience points. And Moko grows to level 60. Star Fox to level 65. And uh, just like that, we are good to go. Okay, so let's see. We've defeated this person. Okay, so on this side, left side, we got H. And then on the bottom side, we got I. H will take us here. And it will be to nothing. But if you have a Pokemon that knows Cut, you will be able to go through there. You will be able to find yourself Pokefan Cory. So let's see. Can I use Cut? If so, then I'll, I'll eventually delete it. So let's see. Hmm. Let's give it to Evil Bacon. Um, let's take away one of the moves that I don't use. So let's see. Evil Bacon. Oh man, Disable came in clutch. Ah, dang. You know what? Not not Evil Bacon. Okay, give up on that. Uh, let's give it to. Let's give it to this guy right here, Nacho Libre. We do have we we do have the Swords Dance technique on a, as a TM. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take it away, delete it, and then come back with this uh, the Swords Dance. That way, you know, we don't have too many T uh, HMs on on these Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and cut through here. Let's go, Nacho Libre. That's right, Karate Chop these these leaves right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and battle this guy. Time to show off our Pokemon again. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and take on Pokefan Cory, and he's coming out with a Dene -de 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 -de. Can't even pronounce that right. We're just gonna call it False Pikachu. And the -de 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 is about to be defeated from an Earthquake. -a so there we go. Earthquake does its trick. The -de 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 has been defeated. All right. And well, let's see. Pokefan Cory defeated as well. Okay, so we are victorious. And uh, well, let's see. What else can we find right here? Let's grab this. And here we found ourselves a protein. Got to take your protein, guys. Make sure that you know you keep yourself nice and strong. Some of you guys already know. I like to train people and stuff. And well, there is nothing right here. So what we're gonna do is go back. And we're gonna go to I. I will lead us to J. And, uh, and onward. So let's go right here. And, well, let's see. There should be an item right here somewhere. Not really. Okay, so we're going down to J. J will, of course, lead us to... I am looking at the handbook, guys, okay? Trust me on this. Wish it was easier. So we're in J. And this is the funny part right here, guys. On to the left and right side, there are three, le there are three levels right here. Okay, on to your onto your left side right here, you got LPQ, and onto the right side you got QMQ or KMQ. And uh, well, let's see. I need to go to M because that will lead me to to N right here. So let's see. I'm gonna go straight forward right here, and this one will lead me to crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. This one leads me to Q. All right, so this is not the right. This is not the right area. So we're gonna go right here, and right up here. Okay, so as you guys can see, we went straight through the the same area, and oh crap, baskets. Okay, so that right there led me to something else. So I gotta go a little higher, and right here, this is not the place to go. Good God! Again, very very tricky, guys. A very tricky location so let's try this again one step right here and no, you're, you're going back and I went through P right here not there two three okay and this one will oh okay I see what this is okay so Q there we go. M is usually the hardest one to actually go through, guys, because it's down the middle. The only problem is which one, which area is the middle. So, crap baskets. Okay, so let's see. That's Q. How about... Jesus Christ, okay. M. Oh, okay. I see what's going on right here. I've been going through the same 
I've been going through the same path, okay. So we go through M. This is M right here. Now you go down to N. And as you guys can see, it will lead us straight to, well, the outside world. And, uh, well, the Pokemon Village. But I want to go to N because... Yeah, I want to go to N because there's something secret right there. And the only way we could do that is if we go here. L is going to be up top. And we go downstairs. And this one will lead us to the Pokemon Village. Holy crap. What am I smoking, guys? L? Ah, okay, I got you, okay. Alright, so, let's see. L? And, let's see, right here. Nope, it's still doing the same thing, I think. Yeah, you know what, screw it, let's go to the Pokemon Village. This, this thing's getting me all, all out of hand right here. So here we are, Pokemon Village. So as you guys can see, we are we have located Wolfric right here, and everybody's just looking. They're like, "What the heck?" Wolfric and his uh his uh jacket cape. He's like, "You know what this place is? Welcome to the Pokemon Village. This place is a secret, you know. Most of the Pokemon are uh, here are runaways escaped from the bad people who did awful things to them. It's a shame how many heartless trainers who can't bother to care for their Pokemon are out here." Some of the some of these Pokemon though, some of them are too strong, and they are found they. And they f didn't really have the, say the, the the place in the outside world. So they came here. Hmm, I see. Your Pokemon sure seem uh, to think highly of you. You have, uh, you had some good times together, haven't you? Hey, you can all come out now. This one's, uh, this one's all right. Ah, so the Pokemon are looking at me and stuff. And they're like, sometimes I get worried and come here to check on everyone. Oh, excuse my manners. We haven't even had a proper introduction. The name's Wolfric. I'm usually over at the Pokemon Gym in Snowbell City, since I'm the gym leader and all. Let me guess, you want to challenge me? Yes. I thought so. Sorry, the, sorry to inconvenience you like this. I'll be waiting uh, for you back at the gym. Then, uh, before you come by, I think I, it would be good to spend some time with the Pokemon here. Ah. Okay. I probably should. And the dog right there, the doggy, the wolf wolf, is looking and he's like, he's got something in his mouth and he's going to give us a chopley berry. I almost called it a chipotle berry. Do you have something in your mouth? Yes, it does. We get ourselves a pretty wing, which is cool. And, uh, well, does anybody else have anything? Wah, nothing. How about here? Yes, we're going to put on a repel because we, we really don't want to battle anybody. And this guy. Okay, so just for, uh, just for you know, shits and giggles, guys. This place is the Pokemon Village. A lot of strong Pokemon come here. Uh, you will be able to find yourself some nice items and whatever, but the end goal will be this cave, which will hold Mewtwo. Uh, eventually, well, when, once we become the champion, you guys will see that, uh, you know, it's not that hard to actually capture. And, uh, well, let's see. Nothing else? There's nothing else. I think there is a TM we can obtain right here. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and swim. Let's see. All right, there we go, and there it is. Okay, so we have an item right there. We got ourselves a pixie plate, a new, uh, well, yeah, a new plate for the for the uh, Pokemon series. Of course, we don't have waterfalls, so we won't be able to go up to these waterfalls just yet. And if you go right here and talk to this guy, this is the unknown dun dungeon. Some uh, terrifying, terrifyingly strong Pokemon have made their homes here. Only recognized champions of the Pokemon League are allowed to enter, which is a shame because, really, there's only one Pokemon in there, and it, it, it's kind of messed up, guys. So, yes, we're going to use another Repel, and we're going to go right here, grab this, found ourselves a full restore, and let's see. I think that's pretty much it. So, let's go ahead and use, uh, not Evil Bacon, but Nacho Libre. Let's go ahead and fly back to Snowbell City. Yeah. Alrighty, we're flying. And we're back. We're back, baby. Okay, so in the next episode, guys, we will be battling for our eighth and final badge. This is going to be fun because it's against Ice-type Pokemon. So thank you guys again for being patient as always. Thank you guys for 
watching and for supporting this channel for, you know, for however long you guys have been supporting. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. See you guys.